So guys, now we are in group D. I already made prediction videos for group A, for group B, for group C. But now we are in group D. D for Dominic, D for death. Nobody wants to die, but we are in the group of death where we have Argentina, Iceland, Croatia, and Nigeria. But in this video, I'll be doing a prediction for Argentina versus Iceland. So guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now. Road to 10K is in full effect. Help me get to 10K by also sharing the video on your social medias. All right. So guys, let's get into this. Let's start with World Cup history for both Argentina and Iceland. So let's start with Argentina, who are also known as La Albi Celeste, will be making their 17th World Cup appearance. They were World Cup winners in 1978, a World Cup which they also hosted. They also won it eight years later when the tournament went back to Mexico for the second time. They came close to winning the tournament on three occasions in 1930, 1990, and in 2014. Well, who can forget 2014? when Mario Gotza put that ball past Sergio Romero to break the hearts of all Argentinians. In 1966, 1998, 2006 and 2010, they also made it to the quarterfinals. In 1994, they made it to the round of 16. In 1974 and 1982, they could only make it as far as the second round. And in 1958, 1962, and 2002, they made early group stage exits, along with 1934 when they made a round one exit in that knockout format World Cup. For Iceland, who are also known as Strakonir Oka, or our boys are making their World Cup debut. That also means it's their first World Cup appearance. You might be asking, how did both teams qualify for the 2018 World Cup? Well, let me tell you. Well, for Argentina, they placed third in Carnival 2018 World Cup qualifiers. Well, thank you to Lionel Messi or else Argentina would have been like Chile watching the World Cup from home. Or maybe Chile would have been at the World Cup and Argentina would have been at home. Something like that. For Iceland, they tapped Group I of UEFA 2018 World Cup qualifiers ahead of Croatia, Ukraine, and Turkey to continue their fairy tale run, which they started all the way back in 2014 when they almost qualified for that World Cup. What are my 2018 World Cup predictions for both Argentina and Iceland? Well, for Argentina, I'm only going to predict them to make it to the round of 16. Sorry, Argentina. Messi isn't going to save you this time. And for Iceland, I'm predicting them to make an early group stage exit. This is where the fairy tale run ends. But Iceland could also prove me wrong. As for head to head, these two teams, Argentina and Iceland, has never met each other in the past. So this will be history in the making. Argentina versus Iceland for the first time ever. Who are the head coaches of both teams? Argentina, they are coached by the Argentinian Jorge Sampoli who won the 2015 Copa America with Chile. He took over as head coach of Argentina in late 2017 after Eduardo Bowser was sacked. So you can kind of say that Jorge Sampoli is responsible for taking Argentina to the 2018 World Cup and not Lionel Messi, right? In his 11 matches as head coach of Argentina, he has six wins, three draws, and two losses. He has a win percentage of 54%. Not bad, Jorge not bad. For Iceland, their head coach is the Icelandic Haima Halgrimson, who was a former women's football coach of two of his old football clubs. Pretty cool, right? He has been part of Iceland's coaching setup since 2013 as joint head coach. Then in 2016, he was the sole head coach. So he has been there since the start of the Cinderella story. In 53 matches, he has 23 wins, 10 draws, and 20 losses. That gives him a win percentage of 43.4, which is one of the lowest so far in the previews that I've done. But on the flip side, his unbeaten percentage is also 62%. So that's not bad. As for form coming into the World Cup, Argentina has three wins and two losses in their last five matches. And for Iceland, they have one win, one draw, and three losses in their last five. 
not good at all they will need to get their act together players to watch for both teams well for argentina of course we're gonna be watching lionel messi at all times like we're not gonna take our eyes off lionel messi only messi like he is the genius he is the maestro he is the magician He is the greatest player of all time, arguably, arguably, right? But guys, man, Lionel Messi, man, oh my God, what this man does for Argentina is just unspeakable, all right? So I don't need to elaborate on this. Also, we would want to keep our eye on Javier Mascherano. Everyone kept saying he was the man that held Argentina together at the 2014 World Cup, and he will also be the man to do so right behind Messi in the midfield. He is also versatile. He can drop back in the defense as well. And another player I would want to keep my eye on is Giovanni Lo Celso. The young PSG man has been looking really, really good for Argentina. Remember I told you so, Giovanni Lo Celso. Remember the name. Not Angel Di Maria, not Eva Benega, not Lucas Biglia, but Lo Celso. Fun fact for you guys, fun fact. Javier Mascherano will officially become the most kept player for Argentina if he features. He will surpass Javier Zanetti's record. Right now, he is currently tied. So, pretty cool stuff. If you have more fun facts, drop them in the comment section down below. For Iceland, players to watch includes Gilfie Sigurdsson, the former Swansea City man who went to Everton, didn't do so well, then Swansea got relegated, and he may have regretted that move. But maybe he's getting paid a little bit better, so maybe not, maybe not. But for Iceland, he is their main man, and he has been shining ever since Euro 2016. So he had a little bit of an injury scare, so if Iceland has to do well again, Gilfie Sigurdsson will be the man pulling the strings. You can call him the Lionel Messi of Iceland if you want. Also look out for the Augsburg player, Alfred Finn Bogerson. He has been really, really good for Iceland and also for Augsburg. So look out for him as well. Also, another player to watch will be goalkeeper Hal Dawson. He will be a very, very busy man. So we will have no choice but to keep an eye on him. An eye. An eye. <laughs> But yes, 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 he will be a very busy man with Lionel Messi sending shots left, right and center at his goal. And now for the part you guys have all been waiting for, the grand prediction. Argentina 4, Iceland nil. two words, Messi magic. So guys, remember, this is only my prediction, may the best team win. So guys, for question of the day, question of the day. Who else hates American commentary on football matches, especially during the World Cup? Me, I do. I hate it. I can do with some Martin Tyler right about now, man. Listening to Alexi Lalas is like painful. For real. For real. I'm being honest. So answer that question in the comment section down below. So guys, man, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, share the video with your friends if you really enjoyed it. And until next time, peace out, Rich Squad!